Today is December 15th, 2020, and I am here at Universal Orlando's Endless Summer Dockside Resort for their opening day. That's right, their Surfside portion has been open since 2019, but Dockside just opened today. As soon as I heard that Dockside was opening on December 15th, I went online, got the Florida resident rate, and booked myself a room to stay here for opening day and night, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I'm going to give you a room tour, a resort tour, show you around what there is to eat, drink, and do here one day and one night at Endless Summer Dockside. I hope you packed your board shorts. We're gonna go surfing. Well, not really, but you know. These large, colorful towers can be seen from the road, beckoning you for a vacation. I'm also going to be sharing with you some fun facts about this resort, as you know I love to do, the first of which being that there are over 1,400 surfboards scattered throughout the resort. So we're gonna be on a little bit of a surfboard scavenger hunt throughout our stay. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how can I help you? I'm checking in. Perfect, I'll have you right there. Thank you. Just walked into the main lobby. They've got two beautiful Christmas trees up. There are some like driftwood looking decor in here. We're gonna be looking for surfboards everywhere. And there's a huge Universal Studios store in here. And it looks like it's got like beachy merch in there. We're gonna take, take a good look at all of that too. There are really, really high ceilings and these beautiful long wooden beams that go all the way across to these very, very high up windows up here. They're almost like skylights, they're so high up. And they fill the lobby with light. And through that little window, you can see the tower that I'll be staying in. Everything is very clean and open and bright. The very fresh vacation-y feel. I also noticed inside the Universal store, they have endless summer specific merch. Probably have to pick one up as a souvenir. I see they've got express checkout, which makes me very happy. I love that more resorts are doing that now. I've got my room, I'm checked in. So what we're gonna do first is go straight up to the room, put our stuff down, take a look around, and then we'll come back down, get some food, get some drinks, scope things out. I'm going to be in tower one on the 14th floor. Here's the eatery, Dockside's Pier 8 Market. We will definitely be back for some food and drinks, but let's go to the room first. Oh, nice, so you walk out through a breezeway. It's very, very pretty. Everything feels very green and blue and bright and fresh. Here we go. One travel party per elevator. Hand sanitizer with automatic dispensers everywhere. Okay, thank you very much. Everything's so clean, it's all brand new. We're going on the top floor. I'm gonna be the first person to stay in this room. Well, the first guest. 14, here we go. floor. Ta-da! Oh, palm trees and sunsets everywhere. Like everywhere else right now, housekeeping is touchless. They're not going to enter your room while you're staying, but anything you need, you can text them. They texted me with a number, welcoming me in and letting me know any questions I have, anything I need, any towels or amenities, just text them and they will bring it up. That's amazing. Here we are. AT key. First ones in the room. Oh my golly. Okay, that's very, very beautiful. It's surfboard. <laughs> wow. Look at this dining area. I'm immediately struck by this. It's so pretty. Let me turn a light on. I've got a little phone here and a cool mural that says surfing. When you arrive in your room, the first thing you want to do is put your key right in this slot. And that lights up all the power. There we go. Take my shoes off. Nice, and now let's look around. I love this table. This immediately feels like I'm on the Keys, I'm somewhere vacation-y. I love this open concept here, sink. This feels so, like everything just feels, it reminds you of like every vacation you've ever been on that's beachy. Nice fridge, space for bottles. 
A little sink here, a little coffee maker. Two very large beds with beachy murals above them. Television mounted to the wall. Let's take a look at the view. I know we have a suite with a pool view. Oh boy, that's a big, beautiful pool. And look out there, you can see Volcano Bay out there. That's, that's magnificent. And there's like no one in the pool. The blanket is like ocean waves. A nice comfy carpet there. Of course, the first thing you're greeted by is a surfboard. It's cool that they have this mirror with the hooks on it too so that you can hang things. Let's take a look at the rest of the room over here, the amenities. We have a nice clean looking, vacation-y looking restroom. Everything you could need looks clean and nice. Let's check this. Oh yeah. We've got the uh, clothes hanging thing here. Surf and sand, shampoo, conditioner, and soap. Ample amount of towels, makes me very, very happy. Gentle facial soap, tissues, a nice hair dryer. Good amount of everything it looks like, which is nice. And then there's the second bedroom because this is a two bedroom suite. This in itself is the size of many hotel rooms that I'm used to staying in. And all of this for such reasonable prices. Wow. And this is also pool view, that's gorgeous. Look at the closet, how cute. It's got ironing board, full size iron, that luggage thingy, lots of hangers. Oh, nice. So this will be where I guess I will sleep. This is the main bedroom. So just to note that these two beds are out in the main portion of the room, and then there's one bedroom with a door you can close for privacy with an additional bed and closet. Just like when I stayed at Hard Rock recently, they're doing temperature checks here. Upon entry, you get your temperature checked and you get this wristband and you wear it throughout your stay here and you can wear it into the parks to show that your temperature has already been checked. But let's go ahead and wash our hands with the surf and sand soap. For this two bedroom suite with three large beds and tons of space, I paid $119 a night. That's the Florida resident rate. That is a ridiculously good price for this hotel with this view and all of this space and all the amenities that come with staying at a universal resort. You can also get smaller rooms for as low as $79 a night. This is an incredible budget, but doesn't feel budget option. The kitchen area actually has a lot of storage space. You can fit a lot in there. You've got the fridge and then you've got these shelves up here. You've got the ice bucket right there. So you can like put, you know, all the shopping that I do at Vera Bradley. I have a lot of these <laughs> shopping bags. You can put your stuff up there. I've got my hat here just in case I need it. Nice. All right, I checked in, I'm settled, I freshened up a little bit, and I am hungry and excited to check out and also show you what there is to eat down there. So let's go. Gorgeous views from up here on the 14th floor. Oh my goodness. Going down. Wow. Going down. Nice, okay, so there's the parking garage over there. Now let's go this way. Back to the lobby where there is some food. 
Checking out resorts for the first time during the holiday season is so neat because you get to see their holiday decor. Okay, let's get to the food. There is a Starbucks right in the main lobby. All right around the corner from the Starbucks is the Sunset Lounge Bar. It looks like there are 13 beers on tap, including a Dockside Sunset Blonde Ale. There are plush carpeted seating areas all throughout the lobby, including this one in front of the Sunset Lounge Bar. And I love that these tables look like carved tree trunks. Everything has like a very natural, like there's woven bamboo and like water and rocks, stone and wood vibe to it which is so appropriate and beautiful. Also a little bit retro. And then around the corner is the dining area. It looks so clean, beautiful, and bright. Let's go check out Pier 8. At Pier 8 you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can get grab and go, you can eat in their dining room. This is the grab and go cooler. Wow, those look really, really nice. Large, beautiful options. Everything looks really fresh. Right now, everything is being made fresh to order, and here are some of the options. I don't know what to pick. I'm so hungry and like excited. You know, when you're just so excited, you don't know what to pick. Also, surfboards three, six, nine, 12, at least 12 surfboards in here. Oh, 15. Woo! I'm gonna get the fried chicken and waffles. I've heard people rave about the fried chicken. There are a lot of different interesting options in here as well, like these mini melts ice creams. You can kind of get them from in here, take it up to the register and pay for it. Mix your own Oh shit. my yeah. god. Right. Everything by itself and it drops the ice, mixes whatever you want. That is so it's cool. Oh, I'm gonna come back later for one of these. Yeah. That I've never seen that. Anywhere. No, this is new. Oh We're my gosh. Only, only one in the complex that has. That's so cool. I've got the seating area almost to myself right now here on opening day. And I got the chicken and waffles and they come in this giant cup. Look at how big it is compared to my hand. Got my own booth here, plenty of space in this area. It's all clean and spotless and I've got my chicken and waffle situation. I've got some barbecue sauce and some bacon honey mustard type of a sauce. Of course, also pancake and waffle syrup. This is Hartley's made with real maple syrup. Let's get that on the waffle. It just wouldn't be chicken and waffles without Waffle syrup, oh yeah. The idea is to eat them together, you know? But let's try the waffle first. The team is so great here. Everybody from check-in to food so far has been incredible and excited to be here, excited to talk about the resort opening. Very yummy and hearty. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good dish right there. I feel like this would be good as like breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or like a late night snack. Ooh, yeah. All done eating and now I feel nice and full, so I think what we should do is get changed and check out the pool area. All right, let's go back up to the room. Oh, I'm back up in the room and I forgot to check. What's in the drawer? Yes, coffee and amenities. That's a drawer, and that's got the things you need for that. Cool. It's getting later in the afternoon, and I want to get some of that pool time in. It still looks pretty empty, so we might have the pool to ourselves. And by we, I mean me and you. I don't think I've ever filmed at a pool before. I am going to be very respectful about it. The focus is just going to be on me, our time at the pool, the Oasis Beach Bar, and whatever there is to see down there. And I'll be very respectful of other people at the pool, although right now, I don't see anyone but lifeguards, so. Also, look at Volcano Bay, so nice. Got my pool attire on and I'm ready to go. Let's go. Just got out of the elevator and then I walked back out into this breezeway and the pool. I asked if it was heated and they said yes. I also asked if there was a hot tub or jacuzzi and they said no. I haven't been in a pool, I don't think in 2020. Like that's crazy. Pool key required to open the pool area. Woo wee! Oh my gosh, we have a pool ourselves. How amazing is this? There are a few other people at the pool now and a party just came down. So, 
We're all gonna enjoy this together. Let's get some towels. Let's pick a spot, oh my gosh. It's like I have choice overwhelm right now. The pool's huge and beautiful. The building reflects in it. We've got a beautiful view all around, beautiful blue sky. So at this point, I'm gonna put this camera away and take out the GoPro and hopefully it works and we'll be able to enjoy this together. All right, they told me this pool was heated, but it feels really cold. I guess it doesn't feel that cold. It's one of those you gotta get used to it situations, but wow, look. Oh, it does feel nice. It's cold at first, but it's warm. <sighs> the weather's been a little bit cool in Florida lately, but uh, it's warmed up the past few days. And I've been wanting to swim for so long long. I almost want a shady part of the pool. Let's go on a sunny part. <laughs> GoPro's first dip. There's only one other person in the pool right now. I hope the audio is working. <laughs> How many times am I going to have this whole pool to myself? Possibly never again. It could be because of the weather, like it could be that it's cool out, so people aren't in, but... Getting this opportunity to have the pool pretty much to ourselves. There's only one other guest in here. It's awesome. <laughs> Time to get out. is going down over the horizon. I think I soaked up as much of the sun as I possibly could. There's like a tiny corner of sun, but I soaked it all up and it was wonderful. It was glorious. We'll probably get a nice sunset view from up in the room, but let's check out the pool bar first. I think the situation is when you're at your chair and in the pool, you can have your mask off, but when you're walking around the pool area, you put it back on. So I went ahead and did that, assuming that that's the mask situation. I've never done a pool thing since the mask stuff started. Yes, I was correct. Put your mask back on to walk around the pool area. The pool bar closes at 10 tonight. It basically closes when the pool closes and then the inside bar right now is closing at midnight. So it may have different hours. Of course, you'll want to check when you stay here, but it looks like they have quite a few beers on tap and some specialty drinks. And since Endless Summer is located on the site of the former Wet n Wild water park, all of the drinks are named after former Wet n Wild attractions. Oh, okay, so you can get the Bubba Tub, which is like two drinks in one also if you choose to do that. So, oh my gosh, I'm deciding. So this is gonna be two drinks in one for the Bubba Tub. Universal was like, you gotta try this. So, you know, who am I to say no to the, to the globe? Can't say no. Oh, that looks good. And so this isn't like a premix. This is like made on the spot for you. Look at this Bubba tub. It's huge. And I get to keep it, right? Yeah. I'm keeping that tub. It's, it's always good when you take home more with you than you brought. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like, like my sand pail. 
at the beach. Let's go play. So that is $18 right there. It's a bit of a savings versus buying two drinks. That's good. That's very good. Mm, we're gonna take that up to the room and watch the sunset. We're taking the Bubba Tub up. This is gonna just be a thing we do now. There's also a sandy beach. Let's walk through it. Oh, now we're gonna have sandy feet, aren't we? So if you wanna sit in the beachy part, kick that sand around. That's nice. Handy dandy towel return. Here we go. It's slowly getting darker, so these lights are lit up. They look so pretty. This is our side. You gotta scan your key. To get in. Okay. Oh, here we go. It feels so nice in here. We're gonna take a shower. <laughs> this is like enough for the whole night. Oh boy. Going down. It's 5:22 p.m. now. I'm back up in the room. I had a lovely time in the pool. Now. is happening. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Volcano Bay, sunset, the city of Orlando. Now I'm gonna take a shower, finish the bubba tub, watch the sunset. Oh my gosh, lovely. And then we'll have some dinner. The sunset is happening right now. There they go. Those tall, tall swings over on iDrive. Up and down. Well, since the sun is right about to dip under the horizon, we should definitely watch the whole thing. And there it goes. Time for a shower. A smaller hair dryer than, you know, some of the larger resorts, but still does the job. And it's wall mounted. By the way, still working on the Bubba Tub back up in the room, and I wanted to make sure to mention that it's $18 for the tub, no matter the price of the drink. So if you order a $12 cocktail, a $10 cocktail, whatever it is, you get double two of them for $18. So if you are gonna order two anyway, or if you're going to share it, it's a lot. So it's a good deal at $18. And there's still a lot left. I'm all showered and ready. I feel very refreshed. I did forget to do the bed test and see how comfortable the bed is, so it feels pretty good. It feels pretty firm. I think I could sleep on this. It's not like overly soft like some beds are. It's it's a little bit firm, but like just a good amount of firm. You know, it's it's a good sturdy, yeah, it feels good. I could sleep on this. I feel like I could fall asleep right now, actually. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, we got things to do. So now I'm sitting here looking at this gorgeous view out here. Oh, all I can see is my reflection because of the lights. Let me turn the lights off. That's better, look at this. We're on that side, Volcano Bay. On that side, Old Town and I Drive. Down there, the pool. I'll show you a little better in a second, but I just wanted to tell you that. I still have my Bubba tub. I haven't even remotely gotten close to finishing it, so. It's a nice tub to have in your room. Now let me show you the view a little more. Oh my gosh, the pool looks beautiful at night. Oh, over there's the wheel. Oh, how cool. There's Volcano Bay right there. I don't know what is going on with the wheel. It's like popping off with some colors. It doesn't normally do that. 
It often changes colors by like things going on in the world, but I don't know what is going on right now to cause this wonderful, beautiful display, but it looks cool. Really cool, wow. Okay, let's uh, let's go down to dinner. We already had chicken and waffles, so the plan for dinner is to try something different. Heading back into the main lobby now. This resort is very easy to navigate, very organized. It's not like big and like a labyrinth and confusing like some resorts are. Sunset Lounge is open till midnight. They have their own specialty cocktails. Oh my gosh, that Doc Master sounds amazing. I'm back at Pier 8 and I wanted to make sure to show you the grab and go cooler. There is a wide variety of drinks, including full bottles of wine, smaller bottles of Prosecco, some beer, and then they have these like cocktails in a can, which is really cool. And then of course they've got juice, all sorts of options, soy milk, regular milk, water, soda, vitamin water, iced tea. I actually really love these Gold Peak iced teas. And I love when places carry them. Red Bull, I mean there's like, it is quite a variety. All right, so we tried the fried chicken and waffles. They do have pizzas. Oh look, some stuff is out now. So they've got some like samples out to look at. Some of the dishes. These are kind of like personal sized pizzas. I could probably, I could probably house one of those on my own. And then at this station they have burgers and they have kids options as well. Burgers look really nice, really good size. Over here we have some wraps. Oh, they have a Cuban sandwich. And then they've got like salad sandwiches. So here they have more variety of like fresh sounding sandwiches. And then it looks like you can go ahead and just Grab these pre-made salads. They actually look really nice. Everything looks really fresh inside them and they have a, a nice variety of ingredients. And then there's fruit cups. Fruit looks really good. This looks really nice. We've got the baked goods counter here, the section. These croissants and everything. So you bake these all here. They look really good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm gonna probably get that for breakfast. These are out for breakfast? Yes, ma'am. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll get some dessert too after dinner. And then they've got these like pre-made sandwiches and chips and they're really hearty and big. Look at that thick, delicious bread. They're not skimping at all. I've decided to go for the BBQ CB bacon cheddar cheese onion rings bourbon BBQ sauce burger. And I asked for it with mashed potatoes because I saw two people walk away with them and say they were delicious, so I'm sold. That burger looks good. And I got mashed potatoes in place of french fries. Now let's find a seat. Hey, how are you? Okay, so Vesa Silbury Dockside Sunset Blonde Ale that is exclusive to Endless Summer. So we have to have one with our burger. BBQ burger looks really good. Nice size, good mashed potatoes. And I had to get the specialty beer. It's made by a brewery in Miami, so local is in a Florida brewery. And it's a special dockside sunset that is exclusive to Endless Summer. It's got like mango flavor, very, very Florida, very delicious. Let's try these mashed potatoes first. Mmm, soft, fluffy, delish. Look at how big this is, by the way. This is like, like a big giant, giant burger. It's. It's really big. <laughs> it's got a big onion ring, bacon, barbecue sauce, two patties, two cheese layers. Mmm. The meat is really juicy. I haven't even gotten to the onion ring yet. And the barbecue sauce, I really like it. It's a sweet, thick barbecue sauce. And the bread is really yummy. It's really good, I like it. I finished my dining and then I walked over because they have their own Universal Studios store here, a really large looking gift shop here with Universal merchandise and Endless Summer specific merchandise. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna have to pick something up as a souvenir of my stay here. I'm really liking this shirt. I really like Ringer shirts. I don't know, I just feel like they're cute. They're comfortable. I, I just have an affinity for them. You know, I'm not a fashionista over here. I like my Ringer shirt, so I'll probably get that. Oh, I like this uh, hoodie too. They have lanyards. What are these socks? Oh, they have pins. Oh, there's an ornament too. That's really pretty. 
mugs and cups, refillable cups, or not refillable, but refillable by you, you know. Shot glasses, towels. Yeah, a nice, a nice assortment. Oh. Oh. Um, there's also some Quicksilver merch over here. There's like just beachy stuff. If you forgot your bathing suit, need an extra bathing suit, anything like that, you can get it here. That's actually really, really cute. Oh my gosh, these are all really cute. I like them. I like them a lot. Of course, like any resort, they've got like first aid and medicines and little things like that that you might need. They've got games and trading cards. Basically like anything you want for your needs or for your fun. They even have chocolate frogs. Look at that. Quite a lot of them. <laughs> nice. Those always make a nice gift too for your Harry Potter fan, friends and fam. Oh my gosh, they have the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean Packets. Very, very tempted to get one. All right, I got the Ringer shirt here and they're closing at nine, so perfect timing. Walking back through the dining area and I noticed there are surf shows on all these screens. There's all sorts of cool surfing shows, programming going on. It's about 9.30 and I'm getting sleepy. There's something about spending an afternoon in the pool that just, <sighs> they've got the weather for the week there. They've got a sort of a layout of the resort. That's where we are in the lobby. Oh, that went away. Ticket deals, hours of the parks. Always helpful for when you're visiting. The lobby also has restrooms and an ATM. In case you need some cashola. And I truly appreciate that they've added a hand sanitizer here between the two ATM machines. Okay, now it's definitely bedtime. Time to head up to the room, do a little editing, get ready for bed, get a good night's sleep, hopefully. Tomorrow morning we'll go have some breakfast at Pier 8. Back in the room and I just wanted to point out, I always like to look at the plug, the outlet situation. There's an outlet for each bed and a USB plug in the middle it looks like. Is that what that is or is that something else? I don't know, you tell me, what is that? Either way, there's an outlet for each bed. So that's good. And each has its own little lamp too. Very bright. And then in the main bedroom, there's a light on each side of the bed. It has its own switch, each individually, a USB port, and an outlet for each side of the bed as well. I'm in bed, I'm nice and comfy, I'm ready for bed. The TV has a sort of revolving announcement about all the safety procedures. The rooms are left empty for 24 to 48 hours between each guest and then thoroughly cleaned. All the pool seats are thoroughly cleaned. Everything is like spaced out for social distancing, masks are required, hand sanitizer everywhere. All of the basically procedures that are taking place at Universal Orlando and other resorts are taking place here. So it talks about that on the TV. So I'm gonna fall asleep to that and then I'll see you guys in the morning. So, good night. Good morning. Oh, that's bright. I had to close both layers. You know how there's the outer layer and then this inner layer because it is bright out there if you have a pool view. Just remember to close the light blocking layer because you're gonna need it. Let's head down and get some breakfast. It's also 10 a.m. Normally checkout's 11 a.m. I texted the number and asked if I could have a little bit of a later checkout. They said we can offer you complimentary late checkout at noon, and I said, perfect. Oh, and just like Hard Rock, they provide you with a little hand sanitizer branded to their resort. And also like Hard Rock, this is a Lowe's hotel, so you can expect that level of customer service, care, cleanliness, and all of the standards of a Lowe's hotel here at Universal. It's 10.45. We have 15 minutes to get to breakfast. Challenge accepted. That door is really heavy, so I like groan every time I open it. All right, back in the breezeway and back over to the main lobby. I made it for breakfast. Oh my gosh, they've got breakfast combos, breakfast pizzas, flapjacks, kids meals. Oh, smoked salmon sandwich. Hmm, that is definitely up my alley like avocado toast here. Oh, they have juice and just fruit cups, simple things, grapefruit, and of course our lovely 
pastries. I decided to go with a straight breakfast combo, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage links, potato biscuit, because I feel like that's what a lot of people would get. That's a traditional breakfast, so let's try it out. However, I probably would get the smoked salmon next time. And just so you can check out, they've got pancakes and like little quiche looking things and wraps and breakfast sandwiches and hash browns. There's a large variety of seating and yesterday I sat in a bench style seat like that and today just to try something different, I'm gonna try a stool table because we've got this beautiful lighting and here's my breakfast, it looks great. And I'm gonna get some coffee. There's a Starbucks here but I figured I'd get the coffee that comes with the breakfast just to like, you know, get the coffee that comes with the breakfast. Give me a lot of French vanilla, oh yeah. They've got the freestyle machines here too, and I've seen a lot of people with those resort mugs, so you can use them here. There's also hot chocolate, how nice is that? I also like that they have these hand sanitizing dispensers everywhere, and I like that they use the foam type. They're all equally effective, I just like the way the foam hand sanitizer feels better, it just feels better. This looks and smells really lovely, and they were dishing each portion out of these like La Crisette looking, um, pots, sort of, so everything looked like it was being cooked individually, not in those big tray type of things. Admittedly, I'm not huge on breakfast. I generally skip breakfast. I just have a coffee in the morning and then I eat at lunch. I will have breakfast if it's a special occasion or there's a special reason, and of course I'm gonna try breakfast here because why not? It's a brand new resort. Let's try their brand new breakfast. And it is also a little later in the morning, so. The eggs are really good. Honestly, I mean it. Like. They don't taste like normal, sort of, you know, you know, good sausage. I like that the potatoes are filled with onions and green peppers. Mmm. And they taste great, really fresh. I'm gonna say, I think I like breakfast better than dinner so far. Now, you never wanna judge an establishment on their first night of making food, especially like a restaurant and eatery. And the food was good yesterday, but this is like above average for a theme park resort especially a value resort breakfast. The eggs are great, the potatoes are great, everything's really good, I haven't tried the bacon yet. The bacon's really good, it's just good bacon, a normal good bacon. I actually like the sausages better, I feel like they're a little more like different. I can already tell I'm not gonna be able to finish this, I already feel full and I'm not used to eating breakfast, but it's actually really, really delicious. I'm very happy, everything tastes fresh and nice, nothing's like, hard or overcooked, you know how sometimes theme park or theme park resort breakfasts can be, but this is actually really, really good. The eggs and potato are the big winners for me. The sausage is great. Good breakfast. I actually really, really liked it. Again, I don't normally eat breakfast and I could not finish it, but I liked the coffee, I liked the food, everything tasted like fresh and really nice. There's rays of light, that's why you can see the light changing on me because of the windows over here, as you can see. Those kind of like slats are really, really pretty. Everything has been a very chill vibe here. So now I need to go up to the room, get all my stuff together, and get this video out. They kindly, I asked, and they kindly allowed me for a new checkout. So I have a little bit of time, and hopefully I can get this video out to you guys soon today. I have a feeling this place is gonna be packed starting this weekend because of the value that it offers. There is, you get so much for your money here, and it's a bus ride. By the way, I just wanted to add the transportation part. Some Universal Hotels have the water taxi, the boat that I showed you in my stay at Hard Rock, so if you wanna see that, check out my Hard Rock Hotel Universal Orlando Resort video where I show you a full tour of that wonderful resort and show you the water taxi and transportation, and some Universal Resorts you can walk over to the parks. Here at Endless Summer, it's a bus ride, but everyone I've talked to has said it is very, very quick. It's like five, 10 minutes, so easy peasy bus ride. And when you stay at Universal Resorts, you do get early entry into the park. So a lot of guests hustled over to the parks this morning to have a wonderful day of fun. But we are gonna have a wonderful day of editing and relaxing. I'm saying we, but I mean me. I'm gonna have a wonderful day of editing and relaxing. Well, editing at least. I hope you guys have a wonderful day too. And that concludes my stay here at Endless Summer Dockside for their opening day and night. The only thing I have to do is go upstairs, grab my stuff, and leave. Checkout is a breeze with a text. I just write, checking out, and they say, thank you, Miss Jackie, you are checked out. And I say, thank you so much, because everyone's been amazing here. This is a wonderful value resort 
here at Universal a great option. I do plan to come back to check out Surfside and I actually hope to cover more of the Universal resorts for you guys. One that I love that I've never done a video on is Cabana Bay, oh my gosh, and Aventura. I love them both and I've never done videos on them so I'd love to do full tours. I'll just have to space these out. Again, this stay is not like a hosted or invited stay. It's an out-of-pocket stay, but it was $120 with a Florida resident rate, so not too shabby. Some of the other resorts have higher prices, so I'll have to kind of space those out as I can afford them and swing them, but I thank all of you who help me and support me watching these videos. It helps me to be able to do this. I also want to give a big shout out to my Patreon members and my channel members. You guys are amazing. You're the real MVP. You help me when my camera breaks to be able to go and get new parts and fix it to get new memory cards when my old ones break, get a new Manfrotto that I'm gonna need next, the tripod that I'm using right now because this one's got a floppy leg and the other one the swivel's broken. Help me to be able to keep the tech going. It's not like I use anything that crazy. I keep everything very modest, but it, you know, it, can, it can be tough to keep up. So you guys help me to keep everything going and help me to be able to do things, more things, and more often for the channel. I appreciate all of you and your kindness and generosity so much. As much as I can on the Patreon feed and on the channel member feed in the community tab, I post behind the scenes, early release of videos, um, I ask questions, I let you guys know what's going on in my life a little more, just kind of deeper dive for the people who take the time out of their hearts to be kind and generous and help us to keep this going, sending you guys all like so much gratitude. And of course, I thank all of you for watching, for joining me on these adventures, for all your love and positivity. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love. Stay tuned for all the fun coming up. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, surf's up and stay enthused. Bye.